Hello and good evening, people. Welcome to your class. How are you? How are you? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, everyone. Welcome to class. Are we ready to start? Yes or no? Yes, I am ready, teacher. Yes or yes? Yes or yes? You ready? Do you have a homework for me? Do you have a homework to present tonight? Yes or no? Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, we absolutely have a homework to present. So let's get started with that. Let me see your hands, your virtual hands up. Let me see your virtual hands up so I can see who's ready to provide homework. Let's see who's ready to present the homework. Virtual hands up now, people. No, pues no tenemos nada. Solo tenemos a tres estudiantes. It's a little awkward. Okay, Gloria, go ahead, Gloria. Share your homework. Good evening. Okay. Este, yo lo, lo hice lo más real posible a lo que hago. Yo no sé. Great. Okay. Hi, coach. Today, Tuesday, I got up at 6 o'clock a.m. I usually have breakfast at 9 in the morning and take a shower too. But today I took a bath at 3.15 in the afternoon. I lunch at 3.30 p.m. And my, ho and my homework to at the same time. Nice, nicely done, nicely done. Thank you for your homework. Good pronunciation. Okay, who else? King Mas, who else? Bueno, solo una tarea tengo entonces. Hello, homework. Bueno, no hay más tareas, chicos. Los demás, ¿qué pasó? No teacher. Hi, Miss Jocelyn. Do you have a homework for me? Yes. Go ahead. Um, my daily routine. Routine. Um, I wake up. Uh, my daily routine. I wake up. At six fifteen in the morning. Okay. At at seven a.m. breakfast. And at four in the afternoon, I exercise. At home. So let's teach. I exercise at home. All right. Uh -huh. Y esa preposición home. at, ¿verdad? Antes de la hora. Nicely done. Thank you so much. Creo que ya no hay más tareas. Ya nadie me dijo nada. Entonces, ya no vi virtual Buenas hands. Buenas noches, teacher. Yo, Ana Georgina. Hi, Ana Georgina. Go ahead. Present your homework. My... Routine, routine. My daily, routine. my daily routine. My daily routine. It's a half, half, sería. ¿Cómo así, no, Miss? I no. wake up, I wake up at four in the morning. Okay, okay. 
I have lunch uh, at um, Dan. No? At, at I have. I'm sorry. I have lunch at noon. At noon. At noon. At at noon. Mm -hmm. I have. It's class English. 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. At... Sí, siempre antes de la, de la hora tenemos que dar la preposición at. ¿Ok? At, ok. Emily, you're ready? My pleasure. Um, sería, I wake up at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I am. A.M. A.M. Mm -hmm. uh, I have lunch at 1 p.m. Okay. E I have dinner at 7 o'clock p.m. At. At. At 7 o'clock p.m. Yep. Well done, Emily. Thank you so much. Let's go with Edith. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, uh, I wake up at 7 a.m. 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 Then I go to work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Later on, I hit my breakfast. I have. I have um, my breakfast at a.m. 9 a.m. 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 As well, I go back home at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Last but not less, at night I have my English class. Last but not least, at 8 I have my English class nicely done Miss Edith good job thank you thank you teacher ojo ahí con el AM 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 I am decíamos ¿verdad? entonces AM I am la preposición a antes de la hora como cuando decimos en español a las tales horas en inglés at at Okay, Alison, go ahead, Michelle. I uh, wake up at five in the morning. I go, I go for lunch at twelve noon. I leave, leave. No sé cómo se dice eso. No sé. ¿Cuál, Miss? Se escribe le ave. Leave. I leave. leave. Te vas, te vas. I leave. I live at six, six thirty in the p.m. Six thirty p.m. Okay, excellent. Nicely done. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, Carlos Lopez. Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Uh, good evening. Uh, my daily routine is following. Um, I wake up at 5 uh, a.m. Uh, sorry, in the morning. Okay, wake up. I wake, I wake, up. wake up. Okay, I wake up at 5. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wake, wake, wake up. Lo vas a unir. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, uh, okay. I wake up. Wake up. Mm -mm -mm. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I wake up. I wake up at five uh, in the morning. I'm going to work at uh, six a.m. six six a.m. Uh, I get to I get to work at the office at um, eight eight o'clock. And I, uh, and I leave work at, at 5 p.m. Finish. 
Yep, yep, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Solo cuidadito ahí con los phrasal verbs. Cuando usamos los phrasal verbs, tratamos de unir eh, los, las pronunciaciones. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos despertar, que es wake up, vamos a unirlo, vamos a decir wake up, wake up. Cuando decimos levantarnos, que es get up, get up, vamos a decir get up, get up, I wake up, I get up, all right? Nicely done, Carlos. Thank you, Carlitos. Well done. Nadie más tiene tarea. Nadie más tiene tarea. Oh, my goodness. Buenas noches. Good evening. Hi. Do you have a homework? Yo digo que la hice, pero... All no right. Sé. Let's go for it. <laughs> my daily routine. Routine. Is... Routine. My daily routine is I wake up at 4 a.m. a.m. 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Go to work at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Have breakfast at work at 80 or 9, 90 a.m. 90, 90, sería 9, 9 or 8. Uh, 8 or 9. Ajá. Uh -huh. AM. 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 Uh, leave work at 9 or 10 p.m. Uh -huh. um, connect to my class English. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Quizás la pronunciación ahí de AM. Right, AM, la letra A se dice A, como en el alfabeto, ¿verdad? A, B, C, A es la primera letra. Luego M, M, cerramos los labios, labios cerrados. M, A, M. A, M. Practiquen en casa todos, por favor. 1 AM, 2 AM, 3 AM, 4 AM, 7 AM, 8 AM, 9 AM, 10 AM, 11 AM. Si nos cuesta el a.m., pronto nos acoplaremos, podemos también usar in the morning. One in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. Practice in your house, ¿ok? Bueno, no tenemos más tareas, right? No más. No more. Miguel, of course, Miguelito, go ahead. Um, evening, partners and coach. Great evening. I have, I have, I have a big headache, but oh, I can do it. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, well, uh, my daily routine begins when I wake up at five a.m. Excellent. And and then, at the end of the day, uh, I have uh, my English class uh, with a coach. Uh, Caleb and partners mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock p.m. Wonderful examples. Thank I you. have no observations for you. I have no corrections for you. But congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Nobody else has homework. Andrea, do you have a homework for me? Uh, good, good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good, good evening. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, today, uh, my daily routine is I wake I wake up at six a am okay. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I take my brother to school at seven uh, at seven seven fifteen am. No. I got I study much for my exam at eight o'clock to eleven thirteen a.m. Okay. And I go to buy tortillas at hey. quarter to noon. All right. Hey, that's very interesting, Andrea. You made it very personal, very interesting, and very personalized. Congratulations. I have no correction for you. Sister, do you have a homework for me? 
Yes, uh, my daily routine is I wake up at 5.30 a.m. and I have a breakfast at 7.30 a.m. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I like it. I like it, Caesar. Caesar, ¿me puedes repetir los de la mañana, por favor, que me dijiste? Re repeat. Uh, I wake up at 5.30 or 30. Vaya, ahí el verbo wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. Wake up. A ver, otra vez. Wake up. O wake up. Sí, porque lo unimos, ¿verdad? Wake up. Sí. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Ok. Next. <ríe> lo digo todo de nuevo. <ríe> Solo fue ese el de la mañana, entonces. I wake up at... I wake up at uh, five... 30 a.m. 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 Ahora, recuerden, chicos, que lo que no pueden hacer es decir, por ejemplo, I have breakfast. Yo tomo mi desayuno, ¿verdad? I have mm -hmm. breakfast at 7 a.m. in the morning. No, ahí no se puede porque ya estamos diciendo a.m. y estás diciendo in the morning. O me dices a.m. o me dices in the morning, ¿ok? Ok. Good job. Let's go with Katia. Okay, okay. Well, as um in the morning at seven to five, I went to oh my question. Drop off the children. Children. No. Mm. Escuchen ese verbo, guys. Ese verbo es drop off. Ese es otro verbo wow. fracial. Uh -huh. Y lo vamos oh. a unir. Por eso que tenías como miedito de decirlo, ¿verdad? Es como drop off. Drop off. A ver todos. Drop off. Drop, drop off. off. Es drop como off. ir a drop dejar, off. ¿verdad? ¿Verdad, chica? Ir a dejar a tus. Drop, drop off. Me. Dejarlos en la escuela, por ejemplo. Drop off my drop children. Me. ¿Puedes drop comenzar off. de nuevo, por favor? That's interesting. Uh -huh. Uh, otra vez? Yes, please. Okay, okay. In the morning at seven, I went to draw up the children. Okay, next, next, next. Solo ese me hizo. Es que sí, es que. Ah, que, bueno. Es que yo ayer, es que entré de último. Entonces, <laughs> y yo bien perdón. emocionado esperando otro ahí, mis. Ok, ok. <laughs> Entonces, ahí estamos con Katia. Cesar, ya me dijo usted, Cesar. Augusto. Hello, Augusto, are you there? Bye, creo Hi. que no. Oh, you have a homework for me, Augusto? Ah, ya se lo dije. <risas> ah, ok, 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 que tenía la manita ahí, bájamela. Entonces, vámonos a la attendance. Alcida Patricia Rivera Mejía, are you in the house? Alison Michelle Guerrero Hernández. Present. Alice, thank you, Alison. Oops, this is you. Alison Stephanie Juárez Tobar. <clears throat> Ana Georgina Aguilar de Flores. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. Carlos David López Amaya. Ana Georgina aquí present, teacher. Ana present. Georgina. Ana Georgina. Thank you, Ana Georgina. Se me había trabado el teléfono, pero ya. No problem, miss. Thank you. My pleasure. Did I call Carlos David López Amaya? Carlos Present Ernesto, teacher. all right, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Carlos José Guerra Castro. Teacher. Yes. A este, Carlos Ernesto ha puesto presente ahorita. 
Carlos hey, Ernesto. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How about Carlos Jose Guerra Castro? Cesar Augusto Perez Guzman. Here I am. Thank you. Cristian Giovanni Peñate Campos. Present. Thank you. Hey, present. Yes, sir. Tania Guadalupe Bolaños López. Y Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. All right. Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present teacher. Emily Yvette Alejo Méndez. Present teacher. All right. Esmeralda Abigail Martínez Martínez. Gloria Abigail Ramírez Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Hilary Raquel Mancilla Leiva. Present teacher. All right. Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Here I am, teacher. Awesome. Jaime Antonio Martinez Chavez. Jessica. Hola, teacher. Jaime dijo de que se iba a conectar después porque viene en trayecto. Ok, ok. Voy a estar pendiente entonces, Miss. Thank you. How about Jessica Cristina Garcia Castillo? Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Josué Abel Luna Villalta. Who's that, Jessica? Present teacher. Josué, okay, Josué, thank you. Y Juana Margarita Sea Martinez. Present Luis. teacher. Who's that? Who's that? Josue? Hola. What's your name? Present teacher. Ahí le puse una notita. All right. Miguel Angel Melendez Aquino. Present coach. Thank Today you. Today is the first day of the spring, I guess. Maybe uh, we have a uh, Yellow flowers for the girls. Hey, that's what I heard. What what kind of tradition is that? In Mexico, it's uh, usual. Somebody usual. told me that they saw that in TikTok today. Yeah. And, you know, yellow flowers. That sounds yellow interesting. Flowers. That's correct. Yeah. Sounds interesting, huh? Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Teacher. Yes, miss. A mí no me mencionó. No? Let me see. Uh, Carla. Carla Vanessa Bernal de Garcia. Present. Y Katia Stephanie Martinez Cárdenas. Present. Ahí estaban, mis. Me faltaban. Si sí, ahí iba, mis. Ahí iba. <laughs> yes. What happened? Teacher. Yes. Uh, Javier Martínez reportándose. Venía Jaime en... Martínez. Oh, my goodness. Jamie, 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 Antonio Martinez Chavez. Yes. Ready, sir. Welcome to the class, sir. Let's Thank go you. ahead and join the class. Let me share right now the platform. Uh, Vamos a compartir ahorita. Give me one second. Ahí estamos. Uh, homework. Uh, oh, tenés homework. Uh, Vámonos. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, I go to work at 6 a.m. I have breakfast at, to work at 8 uh, or 9 a.m. I live working at night, at night or uh, 10 p.m. and connect to my English class. Muy bien, solo una observación en I live working. Quítale ING al working y solo deja work. Me voy I del trabajo. I leave work. You work at night. Correcto. Todo lo demás está perfecto. Congratulations, sir. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Let's go ahead and share the screen now. Let's watch the presentation. We'll start with falling and rising intonation. Let's check this out. Than in the other due to intonation. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn about 
rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions. In one, the meaning may be different than in the other. Okay, so right here, we have some intonation exercise. Now, intonation is very important, guys. Y a veces damos una entonación de pregunta donde no tenemos que darla. Y eso hace que nuestro um, mensaje no sea realmente comprendido. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos diciendo algo negativo, decimos, um, I am not your friend. Yeah, entonces este, ese tono de voz tiene que ir en las preguntas. Más que todo en las yes, no questions. En las preguntas de sí o no. Y luego, pues, en las preguntas de WH words, usamos falling, falling intonation. Rising intonation es cuando va para arriba. Por ejemplo, is she getting up? Repeat, is she getting up? 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 A ver, ¿cómo pronuncian esta? La otra. Are they sleeping? 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 Sleeping. Vamos ahora acá. Falling intonation sería. What's she doing? Para abajo. What's she doing? 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 A ver, la siguiente. What are they doing? What are they doing? Correct. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? A ver. Is she getting up? Repeat, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Okay, what's she doing? What's she doing? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? What are they doing? Practice your intonation, ladies and gentlemen. Practice your intonation. Let's go with the next topic. Next topic. It's WH words. Present continuous.
London, 12 noon. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you okay. cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. Hungry. What are you? Wow. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. After that, we have some continues.
WH questions whenever we want to get right here. We have the present continuous WH questions using what, Victoria? Do remember that the common question is what are you doing, right? Repeat, what are you doing? What is what are you what doing? doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Right? You will say you would say I am having an English class. I am listening to my teacher. I am paying attention to my class. In third person, ya no sería what are, sino what is, contractado, what. Ubicamos el nombre, en este caso Victoria, doing, que es haciendo, what's Victoria doing, right? Los Angeles, guys, what time is it in Los Angeles? Can you tell me? Four a.m. Four a.m. Four a.m. It's four a.m. It's four. No se olviden de decir siempre it's, porque eso es como decir en español son las. It's four a.m. It's four a.m. Thank you. Qué natural se escuchó eso. It's four a.m. Um, ahora. What's Victoria doing, guys? What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. En este momento, ella está durmiendo. Ese ando endo, ese ing, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What about Mexico City? What time is it? It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. Excellent. It's 6 a.m. Or it's 6 in the morning. Can you tell me what is Marcos doing? What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. To hit it up. Si se fijan, estamos usando un conjunction. Tomen nota ahí, el conjunction es so. 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 Lo vamos a usar cuando vamos a dar un resultado. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo. It's 6 a.m. Son las 6 de la mañana. Resultado. So. He's getting up. Do you understand? It's 6 a.m. Ustedes me podrían decir, it's 9.45 p.m. So, I am having my English class. Teacher. Yes. El so, ¿en qué momento se utiliza? O como por qué, o para qué, perdón. Les decía que es para dar un resultado. Sí, teacher, pero quizás, este, bueno, yo en mi caso quisiera saber cómo, cómo qué significa eh, para poderlo como aplicar. Ajá, cómo poderlo usar el so. ¿Cómo? Bueno, cómo usarlo es para expresar un resultado. Y la traducción en español puede ser muchísimas traducciones. Les pero recomendaría este caso... no traducir. Yo les recomiendo interpretar. Pero si quieren que les diga la traducción, el, el so puede ser y, puede ser además, entonces, así que, por lo tanto, de modo que. Y que, pues, también puede ser sarcástico. Y, y que, pues, <ríe> como so, y también como, como que no me importa, como que so, ¿verdad? Alguien te dice, hey, I have, um, I have a new cell phone. Y tú le dices so. so también puede ser como sarcástico entonces tiene demasiado uh, traductions okay. es mejor irlo interpretando entonces para usarlo es que lo vas a usar como un resultado porque él dijo it's six in the morning so he's getting up hey, como son las seis de la mañana entonces él se está levantando entonces es el resultado oh, ok thank you ajá What time is it in Mexico? No, New York. New York City. It's 7 a.m. In the morning. 
Me dijeron, it's seven in the morning, correct? It's seven a.m. Right. Bueno, sería seven a.m. Cuidado, ¿eh? A.M. A.M. Platiquemos en casa. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Labios cerrados. A.M. Okay. Este sería plural. Okay. What are Sue, Sue and Tom doing? Ya no repito el nombre, ya no repito los nombres, ¿verdad? Ya doy el subject, que es ellos. Lo conjugo con el verbo to be. They, they are. Y they el verbo are, en ing. They breakfast. are having breakfast. They, they are having breakfast. Excellent job. Having breakfast. Entonces, ahorita lo que quiero que hagan es que vamos a... Um, me van a decir... What are you doing? And what is a family member doing right now? For example, for example, pay attention, pay attention. My father, my father is sleeping right now. And I am teaching an English class. Yes? Who has who has examples for me? Um, coach. Go ahead. My mom in this moment is mm -hmm. sleeping. Oh yeah. Is sleeping too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I and I'm um, learning English with you and my partners in this English class. That is absolutely correct. Your mom is sleeping as well as my father. And you're learning more. Congratulations. Anna, go ahead, Anna Georgina. Okay. My mother is moment watching TV. And I am student English. By a student, no es un verbo. Student es una... Studying. Perdón, ah, studying. Studying, studying English. Studying. Yes, yes, I am yes. studying English. ¿Y el otro I que me dijo studying. mismo lo repite? My mother is watching TV. My mother is watching TV. Right? It's correct, Miss. It's correct. Congratulations. Jocelyn. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my cousin watch TV right now. Y el verbo uh, to be, ¿qué pasó con el verbo to be? Oh. Okay. Is. Is. Recuerde que es subject, verbo to be. Verbo con ING. Comencemos. Jocelyn. Hello. Jocelyn. Hello. Sí. My cousin watching TV right now. Correct. And I am listening class online. Correct. I am listening to a uh, class online. Uh -huh. Thank yes. you. Good job. Vámonos con Edith. Go ahead. Um, my daughter is mommy checking her cell phone. Repeat. My daughter mm -hmm. is mommy checking her cell phone. Vaya, necesito que me siga la fórmula. Sígame la fórmula. ¿Qué va primero? Va el sujeto. My daughter. Ahí lo tiene. My daughter. ¿Qué sigue después? Is. Correcto. My daughter is. Is. ¿Luego? Eh, checking. Correcto, correcto. Sentí que me mezcló algo ahí. Repitamos eh, ahora otra vez. No. My daughter is checking her cell phone. 
Correct. Okay, and you? I I am um my class English. Correct, my English class. English class. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excellent. Gracias. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's go with Carla. Vanessa, go ahead, Miss Carla. Practice your English. Um, my children are sleeping. Yes. And my husband is watching TV. Wonderful examples, Miss. Congratulations. Que bonito. Sigue la fórmula. Siga así, por favor. Congratulations. Si se fijaron Thank en el you. ejemplo de Carla, eh, el primero fue plural, ¿verdad? Porque era children. Entonces ella dijo, my children are sleeping. Y luego al esposo, singular, my husband is watching. Qué buen trabajo. A ver, vamos con Caesar. ¿Qué nos tienes, Caesar? At the moment, my wife is resting and watching television. Okay. What about you? What are you doing, Caesar? I'm studying. <laughs> Wonderful. You got it, Bo. You got it, sir. You got it. Congratulations. It is correct. It is correct. Emily, go ahead, Emily. Okay. Uh, my mom is watching the cell phone. Okay. E I am having English class. I am having. El verbo is have. Have. Having. I have am having. having English class. Bueno, y, ca y Jacqueline me bajó la mano. ¿Qué pasó con Jacqueline? ¿O oh, no era Jacqueline? <laughs> No, no era yo. Ah, bye. yo estoy checking, I'm checking you. ¿Ya me, no me lo no. quiere decir o cómo? ¿Mm? A todos, mis, y por eso estamos aquí en el básico uno. Ve. Vaya. My sister is watching TV. 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 No. TV. All right. Yes, okay. yes. And you? What are you doing? I am English class. I am English class. Is that correct? I am English class. I am <laughs> I am listening. Yes? yes? I am having my English class. I am looking at teacher Kalev. Uh, looking, I am paying attention, I am speaking <laughs> in English. Todos esos verbos con ING, okay? okay? Vamos, okay. Jacqueline, nice job. <laughs> Jamie, what do you have, Jamie? Martinez. Boy, boy. Démosle. Um, my wife. My wife. Is working right now. My my wife is working uh, at midnight. Wow! And I am a study English class online. Studying. I studying. am studying English class right now. Okay. Yeah. Jaime. What is teacher Kalev doing right now? Um, uh, 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 El verbo es teach. Ponemos ah, okay. ING. Teaching. 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 Mm, okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Entonces sería, sería, he is teaching. He is teaching a class. All right. Okay. He is teaching a class. He is okay. teaching okay. a class. 
Katia, what do you have, Katia? Y los demás, chicos, y los demás. Vamos, Katia. Uh, okay, boy. Uh, my mom is sleeping. Yes, and you? What are you doing, okay. Katia? I am having English class. I am having my English class. <laughs> I am having my English class. Great job. Gloria, let's go, Gloria. Participation time, speaking time, people. Si no hablan esta noche, váyanse endeudados. Siéntanse con deudas, right? Tienen que participar all the time. Vamos, Gloria. My husband is watching your cell phone right now. Watching my, my cell phone or his cell phone? Sorry, his cell phone right now. Oh, <gasps> Okay, okay. so your husband is watching his cell phone right now, correct? Yes. And you, what are you doing? Learning English. I am, no. I am learning English right now. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Nadie más. Nobody else. Yo. Hilary. Hilary. Mancia, participation, please, Hilary. Okay, bye. Uh, my boyfriend is at home studying right now. Wait, um, wait, wait. My, my boyfriend is studying at home right okay. now. Can you repeat? My boyfriend studied. Wait, wait, wait. Ahí hay que seguir la fórmula. Son tres pasos. My boyfriend okay. sería el sujeto. De ahí uh -huh. tengo que usar el verbo to be. My, my boyfriend is. Luego, el verbo con ing. My boyfriend is studying. Yes? Ok. Repeat, please. Y, y, lo, puedo, y, lo, voy, y lo voy a hacer dos veces con ing, sí. ¿Cómo así dos veces? Ah, va, espérenme, va. Lo del home lo pongo después. Sí, porque es el lugar. Él, él está en la casa, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Vale, sería, my boyfriend is studying at home right now. Ajá. Correcto. And, ok. And I am listening to the class. Fabulously, Hillary. Well done. Well done. Sí. Nadie más, nadie más, nadie más, dijo yo. Right. Bueno, pues entonces, present teacher, Juana y Juana, bueno, tengo tiempo de no escuchar de Juanita. Bueno, entonces vamos a irnos a la asistencia antes que se me escape. Let's check, let's check. Ok, Alcide Patricia Rivera Mejía. Alison Michelle Guerrero Hernández. Present. Alison Stephanie Juárez Tovar. Ana Georgina Aguilar de Flores. I am here. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. Carlos David López Amaya. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Carlos José Guerra Castro. I'm sorry. Teacher, perdón, en chat, Carlos Ernesto Bonilla puso presente. All right, I appreciate it. Sí, ya lo tenía acá. Muchas gracias, Miss. Muy amable, very nice from you. César Augusto Pérez Guzmán. Cristian Giovanni Peñate Campos. Eh, present teacher. Thank you. Tania Guadalupe Bolaños López. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. 
Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present teacher. Emily Yvette Alejo Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Abigail Martinez Martinez. Missing in action. Gloria Abigail Ramirez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Hilary Raquel Mancia Leiva. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Jackie. Jaime Antonio mm -hmm. Martinez Chavez. Here I am, teacher. Thank you much. Jessica Cristina Garcia Castillo. Missing in action. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. All right. Josue Abeluna Vialta. Present teacher. Thank you. Juana Margarita Sea Martinez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Todavía estoy en el hospital, que estoy, me quedo trabajando todavía, teacher. Vaya, pues, mis, hay que sacar ese dinerito, oiga. <laughs> Mañana le doy la tarea. <laughs> Super, mis. Julissa Margarita Contreras Alvarado. Nope. Carla Vanessa Bernal de García. Present. Katia Stephanie Martínez Cárdenas. Miguel Ángel Meléndez Present. Aquino. Perdón. Present. Thank you. In class, coach. All right, all right. Miguel, do you have um, special words for the uh, women now that we don't have yellow uh, flowers for them, but you know the intention is what it counts. Okay, I'm. It's it's so difficult because I'm I'm not uh, prepared for this day, but I can to say, improvise. Uh, yeah, improvise. Uh, the ladies are the are the ladies. The ladies are wonderful. It's a create. It's a God's creation. In it's the world. best creation, huh? That's correct. And everybody uh, comes to the world uh, through uh, for the love of a uh, woman. Oh my goodness, <laughs> sweet Jesus! Jocelyn, nos quiere decir algo. Que Julissa puso en el chat que está presente. Oops, dije yo, se inspiró también Jocelyn. Oh my God, thank you so much, Miss. Thank you. Teacher. <laughs> thank you, Miguel. Teacher. Yes. No me mencionó a mí en asistencia, Alison Stephanie Juárez Tobar. Permítame, Miss. Alison, Alison, Alison Tobar, Alison Tobar. Es cierto, Miss. No la tenía, Miss. Thank you, que me dijo. Thank you so much, ok. Alison Tovar. All right. Bueno, chicos, ya nos quedan poquitas clases, ¿verdad? Hay que, hay que aprovecharlas, hay que disfrutarlo y este tiempo, pues, que sea sagrado. Yo sé que les cuesta un poquito, pero um, es una hora que, pues, es como un gift, es como un regalo para ustedes. Eh, en tiempos pasados, pues, no, no habían estas oportunidades, así que hay que aprovecharlas, hay que hacerle honor a este espacio que ustedes tienen que es deseado por muchas otras personas hay que cuidarlo día a día para no perderlo porque ustedes desearían eh, seguir en el siguiente nivel ¿verdad? Y, y sucesivamente hasta graduarse, entonces hay que cuidar este spot, este es suyo usted se lo ha ganado pero tiene que mantenerlo con su asistencia con su participación con su... Um, trabajo en la plataforma, ok chicos, así que ánimo um, ahorita no puedo dejar la tarea, right, vamos a, a skip eso porque mañana vamos a darle más rapidito, alright, así que I will see you tomorrow, you did a great job today, I'm very happy with you congratulations thank you for your attendance and your participation, see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen so long thank you teacher bye. thank bye. you very much thank you, women we bye. love you women night <laughs> night night everybody see you later bye bye thank you, teacher bye bye good night for everything good night everybody. teacher bye 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 everyone good night now bye bye <laughs>